Welcome back. Accidents and emergencies can happen anywhere at any time, and when it does, every second counts. Yeah, so in a perfect situation, you have an AED nearby, like we saw during Monday Night Football a little earlier this year with DeMar Hamlin, but every one of us should know CPR. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone in this class is trying to get CPR certified by the Red Cross. And two, and three, and four. Today's instructor is Meredith Robinson. Because if you're pumping at the right speed, the right depth, and the right rate, the blood flow should go all the way up to the forehead. For two and a half hours, she walks people through what to do if someone stops breathing. So you're going to use your shoulders to push. 30 chest compressions. And one, and two, and three, and four. Six and seven and eight. And Two breaths. <laughs> then repeat. All of these people have a different reason for being here. Nicole Clay and Megan Nelms run their own daycares. So I was serving lunch one time and I had a toddler. She was she started eating too fast and so she started choking. Uh, 12. On any given day, they each have six little lives in their hands. And they take that very seriously because I don't want nothing to happen to anybody else's kid. AJ and KC are foster parents. Oh, my baby, she's not breathing. I'm trying to CPR. Yes, please. They've never had to administer CPR on their children, but if that day comes, <sighs> they want to be ready. As parents, obviously, we want to be able to care for our children in an emergency situation, um, as well as the public. I mean, you just never know. It's, it's very helpful and, you know, I, I recommend it to anybody. AJ wishes she would have been with her father this summer when he went into cardiac arrest. Then he just collapsed and he was alone, so no one was there to administer CPR. So, you know, I often wonder, you know, if he were around someone or, you know, even me, like, could we have uh, possibly saved him? Nicole has also been through a life-threatening emergency, not with the children she watches, but with the love of her life. Her husband of 20 years had a blood clot dislodge. A 911 operator guided her through CPR before a paramedics could get there. Did it work? Did, did, were you able to get his heart started again? Mm -mm. No, not me and not them. He was already gone. It was awful, 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 no. Try not to cry. They all know CPR isn't a guarantee. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But being trained and ready when there is an emergency gives them the comfort and confidence they need to save a life. So last year, our local Red Cross alone trained more than 19,000 people. They've already trained almost 14,000 this year, and it is so easy. A few hours on your weekend, plus a written test, and you too can be ready to perform CPR if you had to. Now, here's how you can really make a difference this week. We have partnered up with the American Red Cross to pay for CPR training for people who can't afford it, but are gonna someday maybe be in that position to save a life. So you can donate right now by simply scanning this QR code here on your screen. We're also gonna, we have all of this information on our website, wlwt.com. Again.